Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to transfer your comfort panel application down to the actual comfort panel. So on my screens right now, I'm in a split screen view. On the left hand side, I have the TIA portal software open with my TP700 comfort panel application. On the right hand side of the screen, I'm using the smart server feature of the comfort panel so that I can view the HMI screens in a web browser. So the first thing is, is on the actual HMI, when the HMI powers up, the start center is going to be displayed for a few seconds um, you know, by default. You can select the settings. So I'm going to select the settings. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look for the transfer icon because we're going to configure the transfer settings on the panel. So I'll double or click on the transfer settings. Then in the transfer settings area, there's the transfer channel configuration. What's important here is whatever we select here is what we're ultimately going to have to select in our comfort panel application when we do our transfer. So we're going to do a PNIE transfer, so Profinet Industrial Ethernet. You can select the properties here, and this will give you the interfaces on the HMI. So I'm using a TP700 comfort panel, so there's only one Ethernet interface. So if I open up the Ethernet interface, this is where I can set the IP address of the panel. So I will close out these dialog boxes. And then I will put, come back to the start center and I'm going to put my HMI in a transfer mode. So now it's waiting to accept the transfer. I'm going to move over to my TIA portal software. So in the project view, uh, I've got my TP700, and I'm on the device configuration, I'm going to select the Ethernet port, and then you can see the Ethernet addresses, and here is the configuration for the actual Ethernet panel. So this is going to be the IP address that we're going to want to try to transfer to. So that's what we would have to have set in our transfer settings um, on the actual HMI. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my comfort panel, and then there's a download to device icon in your toolbar. So we'll select the download to the device icon. The first thing that you have to do is you have to pick the type of transfer that you're going to do. So we're going to do PNIE. So this needs to match what was set over here on our HMI. If, depending on how many network interface cards you have on your PC, you'd have to select the proper network interface card that the HMI is connected to. Then the connection interface, this would be what you would pick from up above. So we're going to do a Profinet Ethernet or you know, I should say a, a Profinet Industrial Ethernet Transfer. So I'm going to pick the direct at slot uh, 5x1, so that is right here. Then the next thing we'll have to do is we'll pick Start Search. This is going to go out and it's going to search for the HMI device. So now it found the comfort panel here, so I will select the Load button. Then we'll get presented with another dialog box. So here we don't have to save our settings for the transfer for the next time, or we can, so I'm just going to say no. Now a dialog box will come up with a few additional questions. So it's compiling our configuration. You can only transfer the configuration if there are not any errors in your application. The next thing that you want to pay attention to is there's going to be this overwrite area. Depending on what you have configured in your application, um, you may have to uh, check these boxes here. So the first thing from overwrite is going to be the user administration. If you want to take the user administration from your actual project and transfer it to the HMI, you do need to select these boxes. As an example, if we did have recipes included in our application with built-in records that we configured, if we don't have the option to overwrite those or not overwrite those when we do the transfer. So now I'll select the load. Now you can see on the HMI it's actually going through the load process. So it is transferring our project down to the HMI. And now here is the project that we created. So in this lesson, I showed you how to transfer your comfort panel application down to the HMI.